In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use colours that contrast each other. So in this example, I've got Opera Rose by Winsor & Newton, and also I have this chrome yellow colour from Dr. PH Martins, which is actually more of a bright orange. So these colours actually sit next to each other on the colour wheel, and so they have a really deep, rich contrast. So let's start by swatching off some of this colour, this Opera Rose colour, adding water just to dilute the colour a little bit more and dropping in some of that orange. This is a great experiment for playing with colours, seeing what works well together, how much water you should use and learning how to use colours that maybe you don't often pick up or put together. Let's now try painting a flower using only these two colours. I'm starting off with my Opera Rose um, quite thickly and then now going in with some water just to add the rest of the petals. And I'm mixing up using water and pigment so that you can get a variation in tone. Now for the fun part, I'm opening up my liquid watercolour and I'm dropping it in with the ink dropper and as you can see the colour runs and merges in within the watery areas and starts bleeding into the pink areas. I also have quite a lot of veins so I'm using a damp brush to help merge and blend those colours together. Now to really bring out this contrast, I'm using this teal blue colour by Karen de Ash, it's a gouache and I'm actually using this colour because it's a complementary colour which means that it sits opposite on the colour wheel from our contrasting colours. So this will really help to bring out your subject and help make that colour pop. So there we have it for this experiment. I hope that you give it a try, pick some contrasting colours and match it with a complementary one. 